What is up everyone, Ryan here again, this time coming at you with an unboxing of the OtterBox Commuter Series case for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Now this is a mid-level case from OtterBox which provides a smaller form factor than the top of the line Defender Series with comparable protection and a lower price to boot. So taking a look at the back of the packaging, this is a dual layer case which means that it has a rubbery silicone inner layer and also a hard plastic outer layer to provide the maximum protection for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So let's get this open and check it out. Just taking the case out of the packaging, oh ho ho yeah, here it is. Pretty nice feeling back from first touch, gotta say. Let's get that extra plastic out of here. A little pamphlet here, welcome to Planet Otterbox. A great case, uh, yeah. But that's not what we're here for. So here we go, the OtterBox Commuter Series case. There's a very seamless connection here between the rubber inside and then the harder shell on the outside. I forgot to mention there is an included screen protector. As you can see, there's a little black cover for it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and try and get this out of the packaging. It is a little bit more cumbersome to get open than I had imagined. Alright, so here we go. Finally got the silicone interior out of the plastic the exterior. I'm just going to set that down so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to try and go ahead here and check out the screen protector. Now I do have the Defender Series case for my iPad, and I really love it except the screen protector sucks. So I'm not really expecting to be using this screen protector, but it's going to be alright because the Galaxy S3 does have Gorilla Glass 2, which means that it's extremely brake resistant and also much more durable. Although it is still nice that OtterBox has included such a complete package with the screen protector and great case. Alright folks, here it is, the Galaxy S3 itself. I'm going to clean up the phone real quick with this microfiber cloth before I go ahead and put it in the case. Now this is just to be sure that it is clean, don't want any extra dust in there. Stuck behind the case and in between the phone. Trying to slide the outside cover on right here, make sure it's got a good fit, and then go ahead and get the other hard shell. And the rubber inner layer does have a pretty tight fit, so it is very snug and secure once you finally get it on the phone. You can still see the LED flash, camera, and speaker grill are still visible. And then go ahead here to try and clip on the plastic outside. It is kind of difficult being an OtterBox case, and I'm having a little bit of trouble. Alright, so there it is. After the magic of video editing and a little bit of struggle that you weren't able to see, I was finally able to get the case on the phone. And I can tell you right now that this is a very cool looking case. It's not much thicker than the original S3 form factor. There's a side view of it for you to check out. And at the moment, the buttons are a little difficult to press. Although it is still manageable to go ahead and turn the phone on and off. There's also easy access to the micro USB port at the bottom, in addition to the headphone port at the top. So just trying to get the tab back in, it is kind of difficult to do, but after a little bit of finagling, you can get it back. Same with the bottom one as well. On both sides, there are raised buttons for the power and volume rocker. Again, they are a little stiff, but I'm sure they'll become easier to press with more use. Also, the back of the phone is a little slippery, but the textured surface will provide a sturdy grip on the phone, I'm sure, as I get used to the feel of the case. Just wanted to show you guys this real quick, as it is an OtterBox case, it is highly, highly recommended, and definitely top quality. As always, I thank you guys for watching, and I look forward to talking to you next time. See ya.